What's going on guys? Welcome to Sterling's and today's topic is going to be about top 10 most interesting facts that you should know about Amazon FBA which is the pan-European bear and is VAT. So without wasting further time, let's move to the actual topic. So number one is what is Pan European FBA? Now, as you know, Amazon has got FBA facilities in multiple countries in Europe. Now, Europe has got um, a few other countries except the UK, where UK had a Brexit, so we had a separation, but it's actually all combined already. So they had a lot of paperwork and gone through everything, and now UK is back to how it was before the Brexit in terms of Amazon FBA facilities. So if you do Amazon FBA, you can only do from one country or it can do from multiple countries. Okay, so you can do for UK or you can do for Germany as well as you can do in Italy, France or wherever you want. However, if you want the combined service of Amazon FBA for five or more countries, such as like, you know, Germany, Spain, Italy, UK and, you know, uh, Poland and Czech Republic together, then that would be classed as a pan-European FBA program. So Amazon has designed it like that because it gives Amazon lots of different uh, opportunities for it to actually market your product better and to provide the clients a better service in terms of Amazon fulfillment. Amazon FBA also has um, called stock uh, distribution. So in Pan Open FBA, what it does, when it has got enough stock, it will distribute the you know, products throughout those five to eight countries in uh, Amazon network and basically, you know, um, distribute them equally depending on the demand and they will keep them in multiple, you know, warehouses across Europe. So where if you have one Amazon FBA warehouse in the UK uh, or say one country in the UK and products in multiple warehouses in UK, now in this case in Pan Open FBA is five countries or more at the same time, you know, uh, including the Europe. That's what Amazon, usually Amazon Pan European FBA is. Pan, you know, is kind of like, you know, means all. That's, that's the term that is, uh, you know, uh, implying towards. So one of the interesting facts is that when do you become VAT obligated within Pan European FBA? You may ask yourself, okay, now I've signed up for FBA, do I have to pay VAT straight away? Or do I have to register for VAT straight away? Well, technically, legally, you don't have to, all right? But in terms of business operation, you should. The reason why I'm saying that is because if you plan to go into Pan European FBA, and you have your products ready, ready to ship, and you know all currently sailing, and it's going to be you know in European warehouses. I mean, it's going to be almost impossible for you because if you don't have the VAT numbers and EOR numbers in those regions, how are you going to even import them? So that's going to be major chaos for you with storage fees and everything. So before you actually you know uh, go into Pan FBA or activate it, you should look into registering for VAT and get all your legal taxation sites in one place. This in terms of business uh, preparation operation, yeah. But if you ask me that, do I legally do I have to register for VAT yet? The answer is no. You only need to register for the VAT when you actually land the product into one of the warehouses. So when you have basically activated Pan European FBA on Amazon, Amazon would have told you that you need those, you know, VAT numbers for these, you know, marketplaces, which are the marketplaces you allocated for and you'd have to have the VAT numbers by an X amount of deadline, uh, you know, for you to be able to take, uh, you know, benefits of the actual Pan European FBA opportunities. Bear in mind, legally, you don't have to register earlier, but in terms of business, you should, because it takes weeks sometimes to get VAT registration completed uh, from some of the, you know, um, uh, VAT uh, tax offices, just like, you know, German and French are the two um, most longest ones uh, they take ages they can take up up to you know uh, one month to three months uh, for them to you know provide you with a VAT number these are my important ones so do bear in mind that you register early and you have all your VAT done early when you're sure that you're going to go for pan-european FBA how does Amazon locate goods in pan-european FBA pan-european FBA as I explained earlier it works um, you know as a combination of 
five or more countries together as your you know network of warehouses as well as pan-european client base and things how does amazon actually locate those products so amazon has got a couple of strategies that they follow number one they will only distribute when their data or their system uh, can tell for the actual asin or that category how much demand they have in such and such area and how many percentage or you know how much percentage they should distribute you know in in that in such and such area so if there's five countries and you send you know 1000 uh, units they would actually calculate automatically what amount what quantity should go into what warehouse and the reason for it is simply because they need to optimize the placement of products so they are cl as close as possible to the potential buyer this reduces delivery time to buyers as much as possible so this is one of the main reasons why they have to optimize according to the demand and they will randomly distribute according to the demand in multiple places of you know warehouses of europe now bear in mind poland and czech republic even if you don't have demand in there they usually store products in those warehouses and you have to be VAT registered for those two countries is simply because you're storing products in those countries and if you're not VAT registered, you won't be able to register, you won't be able to store products or use on European FBA because Europe requires it and Amazon requires it. Amazon likes saving costs, just like we do. And they have warehouses in Czech Republic and Poland where rent rates, uh, you know, wages are lower than actual many areas in Europe, such as like, in Europe, such as like Germany, France and Italy. So you will have to register for those two countries as well in order to take benefits of the other countries where you are selling at the moment. Now that you understand how Amazon locates or you know distributes its products through multiple warehouses, number four, one of the interesting facts is going to be who um, you know handles complaints and returns uh, in terms of Amazon FBA, Pan-European FBA. Just like standard uh, Amazon, you know, FBA in one country, Amazon does the same for the rest of the countries. Either you sell in five countries or 10 countries regardless, all right? You know, now Amazon is prepared to take, you know, obviously your returns and complaints in terms of delivery only or stocking or bringing the product back only. But if you ask me what happens if a customer has a problem with the product, that they want fixing could be like an electrical gadget they need you know uh, some information about how to fix it or maybe how to operate it you don't have enough information on the product manual page or customer just needs some customer support you have to do that bit amazon is only responsible for logistics side of things don't forget and distribution side of things all right you have to do your own customer service still all right so amazon will cover and take care of any complaints arising from shipping problems and returns only reliance what are the advantages of pan-european fba i've told you lots of benefits so far but let's take note of these two one of them is shorter delivery times to customers and second one is reaching out to prime service customers let's imagine you have opted in for germany only and what you want to do you want from the german warehouse to distribute rest of the products for amazon automatically to you know rest of the countries automatically without actually sending the products to italy spain france or netherlands but you want those customers to buy from your german store and amazon can facilitate that that's not a problem but what you need to realize amazon cannot rank your product to the top or cannot give them the benefit of prime badge simply because it's based in a different country where if it's pan European FBA you'd be based in those countries and uh, prime customers would see your products and Amazon would rank you quicker so this is the main reason why Amazon FBA and pan European FBA is you know uh, extremely uh, beneficial and has got much larger opportunities if you're already selling at a scale and you're to grow your business. Number six, shall I cover what are the actual disadvantages uh, of Pan European FBA model? Now, obviously, there are advantages and disadvantages in all, right? Everything we have in life. So, positive and negative. So, if you take the actual disadvantages uh, on Pan European FBA model, I can only blame the VAT side. Otherwise, the actual growth it, it can be massive for the business. So if it's not complicated for you or if you need to speak to somebody to make a like an easy journey, you can speak to us and speak to me directly. <laughs> In fact, and I will guide you through that. However, disadvantage is VAT registration and meeting all its obligation 
accordingly. And sometimes you might have to be OSS, you know, registered as well. And, you know, uh, we have to take care of that as well. So you need VAT specialists uh, to eliminate the disadvantage of partnering up in FBA. And uh, Sterling is your um, best friend at this. We understand Amazon quite clearly, as you can understand from these presentations so far. And so VAT registration, VAT, you know, calculation, filing, you know, having fiscal representative, as well as, you know, making sure regular filings are done, you know, meeting all the deadlines, either monthly, quarterly or yearly. Interstrat is also met. So you need to, you know, uh, make sure you meet these requirements and these can be, you know, um, that is advantageous really for Pani Open FBA. Otherwise, I see Pani Open FBA is a great opportunity, but you can eliminate this by employing somebody like ourselves. So number seven, I want to cover why sell with Pan European FBA. Here is my five list out of this. Send products to the Amazon European Fulfillment Center in the country of your choice and let Amazon distribute them to meet expected demand. Low fulfillment cost. Reach millions of prime customers. Provide fast, reliable deliveries. Rely on Amazon's customer support towards your customers. So as you can understand, I mean, if you were to distribute them yourself and find three PL warehouses, that would be a nightmare. And Amazon also allows you to send the products just in one country, which could be, for example, just the UK or just Germany, and it would automatically distribute to the rest of the warehouses. So you don't have to worry about distributing them or the warehouses and, you know, into other countries. You just have to activate Pan Europe in FBA and Amazon does that rest. So number eight, I'm going to cover an FAQ, which will make understanding of the VAT a bit better for you. You are currently registered for and store inventory in Germany and France. Think carefully. You register for VAT in Germany and France and you also send your products, or store your products in Amazon warehouse in those two countries. Your question is, you have no listing in Italy and no inventory stored in Italy neither. Do you need to be registered for VAT in Italy? My answer to that is no, you don't need to be registered for VAT in Italy. But if any of your products is sold in another country outside these two countries like Germany and France, even without listing people do buy people like somebody living in Portugal, they don't have Amazon there. They would pull you know, Amazon.de.es or you know, .fr, whichever is uh, convenient for them, right? And in that case, if that product goes to you know uh, Portugal from your French or German warehouse, what did you do then? You don't have to register for VAT, but you have to register for OSS if you go above the threshold. And that's another matter that we need to cover another time. But that's all I can tell you for now. All right. Number nine of my interesting facts is Pan-European FBA. How does it work in terms of taxes? Well, I explained this in a few different angles multiple times over this video. But here is another different angle. Being enrolled in the FBA program or Pan-European FBA program allows Amazon to distribute your goods across EU stores. Now it falls under storing goods and triggers your requirements to be VAT registered in the respective countries of storage. You will be responsible for the collection and payment of your taxes and filing of all relevant returns where required. As soon as you start sending your products to Amazon in a warehouse, you will trigger the you know uh, eligibility of actually VAT registration and you will have to register and calculate and pay for VAT even though if it's zero zero you know euro or pound whichever you, you calculate so no matter how much you're turning over even if you're just storing you still have to do VAT returns you know um, you know tax return to those authorities accordingly you may still have to register for OSS if you're meeting the threshold outside those countries and your products are shipped in a country where pan-european fba is not covered so you have to bear that in mind as well number 10 and the last one guys when to register for vat if based within the eu so you could be an european citizen and you also based within the europe um you know like in one of the countries like for example maybe you know um spain france or italy or anywhere 
what did you then? And uh, that's a good question because uh, rest of the topics covered, rest of the contents covered online is for somebody who is not living in Europe. You can register for the one-stop shop, which is called OSS Scheme. And that was introduced you know, a couple of years ago uh, by the European Parliament. Uh, to report VAT due on any cross-border sales to countries where you are not already VAT registered. Uh, OSS is what you need to look at and you may still have to register for VAT in some other countries but it depends on the actual criteria and we can only advise uh, if you know exactly what you're trying to do and where you're based, how is your goods going to move and things like this. That's it guys, I covered all 10 for you and thanks very much for staying so long and also you know um, if you do have any questions we are here to answer. We do provide the Pan-European FBA service as a service for the as, as in terms of VAT and accounting. Uh, we cover UK, Europe as well as USA. Please the link below to go on our website or simply google sterlingsglobal.com and you will find us and we can see you on the other side if needed be. Otherwise, if you want content like this, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like my video and you've learned one thing, uh, please uh, share your video with your friends or you know press the like button. At least you know that would appreciate my effort. So yeah, and thanks very much, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye bye now.